Hey guys, Jared back. So, uh, Sam Engine Mod 10.2 Android 4.3.1 M1 release, or has been released, I should say, uh, as of yesterday. So, I just kind of wanted to do a quick video for those of you guys that have the uh, Samsung Galaxy S4. Um, now is probably the time to go and update. So, for those of you that are unaware of what um, the M1 build is all about, basically they go M1, M2, and then M3. And I can't remember if it was the M3 was the final stable version that they're going to work on for that particular version of Sam Engine Mod, or if it was was um, something called actually like final. Uh, either way, uh, this just means that we're edging ever so close towards the um, final installation, the final version of Sanj Mod 10.2 before they start working on uh, the Android 4.4 uh, KitKat version of it, uh, aka Sanj Mod 11. Um, so for those of you that are wondering for uh, or at least looking for an ETA on um, Sanj Mod 11, well, you're not going to get it. Uh, but the CM team did say that um, once they've completely finalized Sanj Mod 10.2, which makes sense to me, you don't want to leave an unfinished product uh, before you start your next project. Um uh, they said within the next few weeks, uh, we can expect them to make a decision on which devices are going to start getting the uh, Sanj Mod 10 11, or Sanj Mod 10 11, Sanj Mod 11 uh, love. That said, um, so th so those of you that are running Sanj Mod uh, 10.2 right now on your Galaxy S4, you're probably wondering what uh, we're looking at in terms of change logs for the device. Um, Sanj Mod 10.2 M1 really comes with nothing other than a bunch of um, translation uh, updates. Translation updates all across the board, everywhere, everything from lock screens to widgets to cameras to the file manager <clears throat> excuse me and so on uh, for those of you that do have a uh, device with a dedicated camera button on it, um, they did include something new where from the lock screen, if you half press the camera button, it'll actually act as a peek feature. And um, you can take, a, uh, a, I guess, a bit of a peek at the camera, which I don't know why the hell you would want that. But then again, I don't own one of those types of devices. Um, or going ahead and uh, double tapping on the home button, from what I understand, actually launches the camera application itself. Um, Nothing, I mean, obviously it's not working for my device, and from what I could tell, there isn't any settings options for you to enable or disable that option, so um, I don't really know. Anyways, um, other than that, yeah, we do have some new um, wallpapers, so if we go ahead and long press and jump into CM wallpapers, you notice that we do have some new wallpapers from Matthew Henley, and um, lots of really nice nature pictures. Um, for those of you that have seen my Nexus 4, Sandwich Mod 10.2, M1 video, and my HTC One, um, there really isn't much of a difference. Um, again, if we go into settings here, and we can scroll on down to more, which is where you'll find device specific um, options here. Go into more, and just like the HTC One, nothing changed here. Vibrator intensity and launch music app based on whether you plug something into your uh, headphones jack there. Uh, on the Nexus 4 though, we do have like calibration settings and things like that, but that's been there for a little while. Um, anyways guys, that's really it. So if you do have a Samsung Galaxy S4, now's the time to head on over to your settings menu, scroll down to about phone, and click on Sanjay Mod updates, you should have an update waiting for you. Anyways, guys, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, click the likes button down below. If you're new to the channel, subscribe for more videos. But yeah, like I said, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Cheers, guys.